Hi everyone, today is Sunday, September 4th, 2016. Let it drive you mad, head and shoulders, itchy scalp care. We'll play that again, just so, just in case you didn't hear it. To 100% flake free. Don't let it drive you mad, head and shoulders, itchy scalp care. It said, don't let it drive you mad. Just like Illuminati, Mutual Assured Distraction, M-A-D, MAD. I think it even goes back to that MAD magazine as well. So, look at this. Breakthrough as US and China agree to, to ratify Paris climate deal. Well, on the other hand, we've also got this. Former Deputy Undersecretary of US Navy predicts war with China is inevitable. So it's almost like these two stories are almost contradicting each other. <clears throat> In reality, China and America are buddies and they're working together. But they just pretend that they're at war with each other and they're against each other. Because from war comes profit. It's like, it's like um, all, all of these nations pretend that they're against ISIS, when in reality, they're working with ISIS and they're financing them. See, China is right next to the USA, see? China is right next to Obama. Almost like his right-hand man, so to speak. So, yeah. <clears throat> Obviously, this has a lot to do with China rising up. <clears throat> and that's why this bear even has, like, pants with a Chinese flag on it. <clears throat> See, 17 hours ago. This has a lot to do with 2017 coming and the 7-7 bombings. It also has a lot of a lot to do with World War Three coming as well. <clears throat> See, this has got got a lot to do with the Great Millstone coming as well. <clears throat> like this fire coming out of the rocket represents nukes and explosions, but also the fire in hell. See, the, the rocket itself represents nukes as well. See the nuke, see the rocket, see? And this looks like a ship here, which represents the ship of souls leaving for heaven. See that ship right there? So, yeah, like, even this Chinese Civil War represents just like Captain America's Civil War, and you see there was even US involvement in that. Like, this Carpenter song, We've Only Just Begun, represents that we will only truly begin when we are born into our immortal souls or, or our immortal bodies. So, we have only just begun on the, on the path to eternal life. Because this woman will give birth to our immortal souls and our immortal bodies. <clears throat> Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah. Look at this as well. Rainy days. That actually represents a great flood coming. See the flood? <clears throat> and it's going to be on the sort of scale as Noah's Ark. That sort of scale. <clears throat> and see 1971 swap the 1 and the 7 around and it becomes 17 
seat 17 for 2017 coming. <clears throat> Look, at the sea here, just like the beast out of the sea coming. The beast out of the sea is mentioned in the Bible. Now this advert here proves that England is on the side of good and the side of Jesus, despite what the Grocks might say. You can never prepare too much. Meaning preparing for the end of days. But it's the little things that make the difference. I'm sure Jesus thinks that it's the little things that make the difference. See, England has a heart, see? <clears throat> but Joe is wearing a green kit for Islam, though, so it's like blending the iron with the clay, blending the light with the dark, blending the good with the bad. Because you also see the white for heaven there. And he has a blue towel for Jesus Christ. After everything that's been said, all eyes are on me. The weight of the nation's hopes on my shoulders. But I can't show any of that. My head's got to be sorted. Because we all know what it will probably come down to. His head does need to be sorted because it's probably possessed by Satan. So... <clears throat> like, if we just go back slightly. We come down to. Because we all know what it will probably come down to. What it will probably come down to will be angels versus demons, Satan versus Jesus. And it will come down to the end of days. I need to be ready for anything. Ready to make it count. So there is a newer advert as well. If I can find it, I'm not sure if it's this one. Efforts that I was talking about, um, I can't actually find it at the moment, but I saw it on the TV this morning, and it's basically. Joe Hart with all of his England teammates in a massive circle, and the circle represents like the wheel of the Great Tribulation. And all of his other teammates are wearing blue for Jesus Christ, and they represent the Christians and the disciples of Jesus. <clears throat> Just like in iPad Gate 2, you see all of these blue people that represent the Christians. Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah.